So what is the importance of telling a story in your data visualization? Now we are in a way wired for stories. Something within us compel us to be that kid again and to be immersed in the story and whenever we hear the term once upon a time, we are literally hooked to it. It is also the way we transfer knowledge from ancient time, maybe by religious text or maybe writing in caves and old scripts. But the challenge which comes here is that people may not use your visualization the way you want them to use, mainly in interactive ones. They will not look the data the same way you want to. You need to grab the attention so they understand which part to be looked at first and which after. To make a story, you have to bring a beginning, a midsection, a climax and an end. So these are the four main parts of a story and you have to bring some restriction or some kind of control on your data visualization to make your user see the story which you are trying to tell. Now some of the techniques which you can use, you might have experienced it as well when you install your new apps. There is an overlay which exists on top of your app which gives you an understanding of how to use your app this is a nice way to quickly make your audience see how to use what are the things to be pressed first, what are the things which will help them or guide them. Apart from the legend, this kind of interactive overlay when you have many things to train your user to. And finally, if you want to tell a story but you don't want to invest too much on fancy visualization development or design, then um, the best way is to use filters and options. They make your user think in a way you want them to and they will actually remove many options which your user might have in their mind. So it will not actually allow your user to follow a straight path but it will actually remove many other path which the user could have gone which you don't want them to go. So these are some of the ways you can tell a story with your data visualization.